Hi, my name is Beridlaus John, and in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at search engine optimization, or SEO for short. Search engine optimization means ensuring that the pages of your website get higher rankings in search engine results, for example, in Google or Bing. Search engines play a significant role in helping customers find e-commerce sites from which to purchase products. And since customers primarily pay attention to the top 3 to 5 results returned by their search, it is extremely important for online merchants to ensure that their site is ranked as high as possible in order to attract potential customers. With this in mind, the WCMS module in SAP Commerce provides a range of tools to assist vendors in optimizing their site. Let's take a look at some of them in detail starting with the facility to tag keywords or descriptions for preferential indexing. Meta tags provide structured metadata about a storefront page. You can use meta tags to specify various page attributes, such as page description or keywords. The tags are placed in the head section of the page. Each page has four preset attributes out of the box to optimize SEO content. A key tool for page developers is the robots attribute, also located in the page header. It determines whether a page gets indexed and whether any links it contains should be followed. For most use cases, you do not want to index pages that are created dynamically, such as shopping carts. The table shows the presets for a number of common page types. A similar idea is that of URL encoding attributes except that this time we are interested in keywords that are physically incorporated into each and every URL on your site. The accelerator sites have language and storefront predefined, but your developers can create any attributes you require. Once an encoding attribute has been defined, it can be pulled into any website configuration in the back office. A common task under the heading Search Engine Optimization is creating friendly URLs. In practice, many pages are not created with the most user-friendly names. They might be too long or too complicated, for example. Or sometimes you may just want to change a page's URL during the lifecycle of a site. In Smart Edit, you can use the page editor to change a page label. When you do that, the URL of the page is modified while the remaining page data remains the same. In this example, we are shortening the URL considerably. Afterwards, the new URL will look like this. For more details on how to use the page editor in SmartEdit to create friendly URLs, please check out our separate video on the topic. Some frequently displayed pages, such as category and product pages, have a specially configured format. If you browse a number of category pages in the accelerator, you will notice that the path and category code change but that the basic URL format remains the same. These URL patterns are defined in XML using spring beans, and that means that changing the URL for category and product pages becomes a matter of relatively lightweight configuration rather than a major coding task. What's more, these URLs have been designed in WCMS to pick up the respective product and category names. So if you change the name, let's say of a product, and then synchronize a product catalog, you will see that the URL for your product is automatically updated. Sitemaps allow webmasters to inform search engines about pages on their sites that are available for indexing. This is such an important front-end task that WCMS provides an internal mechanism for generating sitemaps. There is even a pre-configured cron job for running it. The sitemap on the right, which is in a standard XML format, was generated by running the sitemap generator on the electronics storefront. It's picked up, for example, that the Chinese version of the home page is available with two different currencies. In short, with the support that SAP Commerce offers for search engine optimization, vendors can win businesses and increase sales by achieving higher search engine rankings. As always, more details can be found in the SAP Commerce help pages. Thank you for watching.